What's happening, YouTubers? I've got my 2007 Mustang GT Convertible Premium Edition. And uh, I've had it for a couple of months now, and I really like the car. Really good running car, you know, easy to work on, uh, easy to get parts for. And uh, I'm sure many of you have the uh, 2005 to 2009 models. And some of you may have had little knickknack issues with them. Especially once you get a few miles on them. You know, I got this one at around 69,000 miles. And it ran fine. But there was a few... Uh, few services that had never been done to it uh, I don't even think it had had a tune-up before so it also had never had the rear differential fluid changed uh, the brake fluid had never been changed but uh, you know what I want to talk about here is I used to hear a pretty audible ticking sound once the motor completely warmed up. Yeah, you know, I mean all motors are going to have a little tick to them just because they have moving parts inside. But once this one got good and warmed up, you would hear ticking. You know, I guess coming from the valve train inside, and it was pretty darn audible, especially if you drove next to, you know, a building or a flat wall or something. You would hear just a pretty loud ticking coming from the valve train in the top end of the motor and uh, of course I had the recommended oil which was the 5w20 let's raise the hood up here the 5w20 is what's recommended of course So that's what I initially had in it was 5W20. Let me turn this off. And uh, you know, did a good bit of research online. And uh, some people recommended that you go up to a 5W30. So I tried that, and lo and behold, the little ticking went away. So, and this is in the summer mind you, in Atlanta, Georgia, where it gets pretty darn warm. You know, a high 80s, low 90s, sometimes warmer than that in Atlanta. So that tells me that the recommended oil is too thin for this car, you know, in, in a warm region of the country. So if yours is, you know, it's just a little ticky sounding and you know there's nothing significantly wrong with the car it just sounds ticky once the uh, once the motor oil really warms up try going up to the 5w30 see what that does for you it definitely helped mine out and um, also uh, people complain about a clunky rear end when they're shifting gears this is an automatic transmission model. Like if you're putting it, you know, from park into reverse or drive to whatever, and you hear a pretty loud clunk. Some people think it's the drive shaft that's clunky. And, you know, it might be on some models, and some people have uh, what's called the slip joint re-greased. Uh, I did a differential fluid change. And lo and behold, that really quietened down a clunk that I used to hear. Uh, I also, let's see if I can get under here. I also updated my differential cover to the uh, GT500 diff cover. I know it's hard to see under there. The, uh, the stock one 
doesn't have you know a drain plug uh it's really cheap the stock one is you can barely see it but if you can get you the upgraded gt500 differential cover it is cast aluminum instead of that tin metal crap it also has uh you know magnetic drain plugs in it as well as a fill plug on the back but i just i flushed the uh the differential fluid and uh filled it to the you know to the top of the fill plug on the uh on that front side if you're facing it from the front of the car and lo and behold that clunky sound you'd hear shifting gears on the automatic transmission went to normal basically which yeah you're going to hear a little bit of clunk but it was pretty loud before and uh doing the fluid flush on the differential really helped that out a lot so there's another little tip i learned on this car uh, another one i know there's a lot of people who debate about crankcase vapors uh you know your your pcv system you know i've been riding motorcycles for years street bikes dirt bikes harleys uh, you know i've been involved in you know in, in motors for a long time just as a shade tree mechanic and uh, something i do not like is hot crankcase vapor going into my intake system which would go here and here coming from the crankcase vents there and there sure this car was designed from the factory with this system and it might be just fine but in my personal opinion to send hot oily vapor from your vent here and here into your intake system where it needs to be as cool of air as possible to get the best combustion everyone wants you know colder air for the best performance let alone if you're sending hot oily vapor through your throttle body into your uh, into your top end in my opinion that can't be good for longevity on a motor as well as performance so uh, I went for the simplest method and I know a ton of people debate this online as far as are you going to install a catch can or are you going to use breather filters instead I went with the very inexpensive breather filters that I'm coming off of here and in fact this side sends out far more of the hot vapor that's the passenger side of course than the driver's side not sure why that is because a lot of people say that this side should send out more hot vapor when in my experience and you can see it you know there's a pretty good bit of oily vapor coming off of the little filter there and what i noticed when i removed my pcv hoses there's these guys right here and replaced it just with standard filtration and then of course I reset my computer in the car uh, the, um, the PCM I reset and there's plenty of videos on that and I'll talk about that in a minute this car I think ran better as well as felt like it had better performance now who knows what that if that's really true no I didn't have it tested on a dyno or anything but as far as how it felt um, I think it felt better so take that as you may uh, and resetting the PCM also a very easy thing to do if your car is running a little rough or it's idling up and down uh, and you have no other problems that you could find resetting your PCM which is as simple as removing your negative battery cable take it up attach an alligator clip you know with a jumper wire from that cable sitting over here and then attach that through a jumper to your positive cable I know it sounds ridiculous but it's totally